Hello, 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 and welcome back to another trek through the dungeon. Um, where last we left off, I was making up my mind whether or not to go into this uh, ziggurat, and uh, I am of the opinion that it is better to go out in a blaze of glory than uh, go on with your humdrum existence forever. So I'm going to give myself every possible edge before going in, and that means enchant my armor up to maximum. Uh, do I have a resist electricity source? I feel like I was carrying one for just this purpose. Yes, the amulet of rage falls. That's not what it's called, I just... Technically that denies me so much health, it may not have been worth it, but... Whatever. Totally works. Uh, put it on guardian spirit. Because there are a few items that I would be very happy to pick up, um, from such a dungeon. And obviously, just getting EXP potions is going to translate to more health. And, again, just doing a ziggurat at, at all is its own kind of novelty, to be honest. So, I'm, I'm not... I'm not geared up that I can actually go deep into a ziggurat or anything like that. And, uh, I've never done a melee ziggurat, uh, at any... At any, uh, serious way. Uh, my my ziggurat characters are always mages. Sometimes they're post end game mages with strong melee aptitudes because they have strong everything aptitudes. But that is just not the same thing at all. Eat a bread ration. Read both these scrolls of enchant armor to max this sucker out at four, I believe. Yup, plus four. Um, and just because I've been asked about this repeatedly, I am ninety percent sure you can't vorpalize over an evasion. But I would hate to uh, be missing my chance to do so, uh, if it's in fact possible. So let's just test that theory. Um, because Vorpalize is an, an increased damage brand, and with Evade as high as it is, frankly the evasion bonus of 3 to 5 is freaking useless for me, uh, by comparison. Alright, so Vorpalize. This will not work. There. I have tested it. It is in fact a brand, and just like fire, ice, etc., you cannot warpalize over an existing brand. What you can do is scroll of enchant weapon 3 over a pre-existing sling of velocity, which we should do as soon as we've used up all the other... You know what? This is the sling of velocity. This is the... This is the... Uh, this is the best choice for receiving all of the scrolls of enchant foo uh weapons so let's just go ahead and acknowledge that by buffing the hell out of it right now um i would say the furthest away things are going to be the swamp so let's go there first and if it seems like i'm taking a long time on this uh relatively unimportant detour realize that there's n pretty much never going to be a situation after this where I'm gonna be better off spending that same time. Uh, let us ditch uh, the scroll of silence? No, 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 that could be very useful in a ziggurat actually. Let us ditch our mute RF regen. I don't really predict ever using the ring of regeneration I guess. What are my alternative rings? RF strength plus 4 dex plus 3 is never coming off, uh, and plus 4 AC is going to beat out regen most of the time, so yeah. Oh my god, I didn't switch my weapon. Fuck, I'm an idiot. Okay, well, uh, I just burned a scroll for absolutely no reason there. Um, kind of wish it had said this will not work since it's an artifact, but whatever. Uh, enchant weapon to go. Nope, fail. Okay. Enchant web. Uh, there's plenty of tier ones, so let's go for those next. Why am I not able to just auto travel here? It says I'm not able to... Sorry, is there an enchant weapon on this screen that I'm just not seeing? Or what's the deal? 
Take me to the enchant weapon one. Oh, oh, I see. It's inside a fungus. Wield G read G. Nope, fail. Read G, read G. Yes, success. Fail. Okay, what's next? Nope. Enchant weapon. A couple more up here. Wield G, read G. Fail, fail, web. Web. Uh, another one here. Oh, there's a lot of stuff here, actually. Wield G is already done. Read. Did I not pick it up? I didn't pick it up. Let's go C and D. Read G. Okay, that worked. We're at eight seven so far. Uh, weaponize. Uh, do I not have a wand of teleport? I do, and it's already got eight charges, so that's fine. Let's take this to the door of the lair and leave it, you know, at the top floor or something. All right. Uh That very nearly sucked. Um let's go with E and potion of heal wounds because I apparently don't have enough. Wield G read G. Okay, that worked. We're at eight eight. So we're just gonna try the tier three right now. And we're at eight nine. This is damn near maxed actually. Um I'm really glad we took the time to do this. Uh yeah, so at this point I would rather use an eight nine Vorpal than a four thirteen evade, to be completely honest. Um and while I have alternate fire and frost, uh, given that you can't launch fire, a uh, fire steel or ice steel, there's really no reason to to use those. So just velocity steel is the way to go. If I need an extra item slot, I can absolutely ditch some of those at this point. All right, back to the ziggurat. Uh, I am notably low on food stuff actually. So where did I leave a stack of food? Just take one ration with you. Okay, things to ditch. Let us ditch things that I won't need. I want one scroll of blinking. Don't want to take the recharge scrolls. Well, actually, this is a bad spot to do it. I should ditch stuff out of the way where I'm less likely to lose it if I have to pull enemies out in a rush. Uh, let's ditch three remove curses, five teleports, uh, all of the magic mapping, because there's nothing to map really. Well, do I have control teleport of some source? I do. Okay, so potentially I will wish I could map as well for a quick escape, or carry one of those. I don't anticipate using any silver or exploding bullets while I'm in there. Uh, Berserk Rage is out. Wand of Invisibility. I really should have gone and picked that up instead of the potion of the same. Uh, potentially we can use that. What else? Let's ditch the recharging scroll. Let's ditch... Uh, I think that's reasonable. 
Uh, I guess, you know what, since we're going to a zig, let's ditch flame and frost just to free up item slots. Yeah. We're still at 90% weight, we need to lose more weight. Uh, ditch a large stack of various bullets, let's bring us down to a nine, uh, to 30 of each. Except, of course, steel, which I'm gonna keep it at full. And that, three more percent. How about potions? Am I overstacking something? Yeah, let's lose four curing potions. That's helpful. Alright, that should about do it. Considering this is only going to be a brief trip. Into hell. Yes, I will pay for it. Well, this first floor is certainly a, a pleasant start. Uh, nothing of note. There is an amulet of the guardian spirit, but that's all. One floor down. This one looks equally malleable. Let's just take it out. Wando lightning, paperback book, sackable corpses, amulet of conservation, Paris book, church the books, and uh, yeah, nothing more to do. Um, in we go. Okay, I'm seeing a calcification threat, and that is it. Not even a fire threat. Okay, so worry about calcification. That's why I'm going to get into melee with the Ketoblipus. Limit the number of directions he can fire. Then back off and kill everything else. Hey, God gift! You know how I dropped a bunch of bullets before I came in? Got him back. I'm going to be getting so much piety from all the books I burn. It's going to be ridiculous. Ditch that. All right. There's a book on the doorway, sir. Torture everything, and in we go. A uh, ghost moth can actually drain my auxiliary health pretty efficiently, and there's a lot of confusion threats here. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is switch to a clarity source, so that I don't get confused. I ditch my clarity source. Okay. That would have been a good move. Uh, since I can't do that, I will switch to velocity and try and peg key targets from out of range. Uh, that's the key target. Okay, it didn't manage to stare at me, which means I didn't lose all of my health. Uh, so Captain's Cutlass, and just cut things into pieces. Focus on the paralyzed threat first, and then kill everything. Now, admittedly, I really... Whoa, what was a god gift? Yeah, I got it. Oh no, I just picked up my old bolts. Uh, admittedly, I probably didn't have to be nearly that systematic about it. I just, I just want. I mean, I, I just am reading out the correct moves anyway. Zig five, and this is a pan lord area with torment available. My best bet is going to be rush down. Uh, absolutely going to berserk regen MR first because that's always sensible. Uh, I don't see an unsummon threat, so uh, yeah. Boom. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. We failed to kill him. Uh, this is a good scenario to blow a blinking scroll on. I want to spend the one turn required to burn all the books, but no. Doing that might get me killed. Cure. Hide. And just wait. If I hadn't auto-fought through with that, I might have been able to do better, but since I auto-fought through it, I in targeted the hardest to drop enemy first, and uh, that resulted in me not dropping anyone, which meant that I didn't get the refresh, which meant that I actually ran out of time. You are probably the only enemy that attacks at the same speed I do. I'm, I'm literally waiting for my opportunity to berserk. This is it. Regen MR, Berserk. Oh, I was forcibly blinked by a Distortion Blade, presumably. Kill the Summoner first. Low HP, lots of targets. Rotting Halt next. Uh, We'll kill the Red Mage next, or the Red Sword Fighter next. It is going to be important to take out the Blade Master ASAP, because they have a disto wep Distortion Weapon. Kill whoever is adjacent to me. Blade Master next again. Okay, I think we got the the that guy down. Okay, that's a mage kill. I am literally just shedding my 
my scrolls due to burning damage. That was a pretty dangerous area, honestly. Cure Mutation. Uh, Dex and Int and... Was that the first Cure Mutation I've come across in the dungeon? No, okay. So I have a backup in case of some more severe mutations. So I will absolutely quaff this one just to get an extra 15 health. That's that's totally worth it to me. Also, that looks like an artifact buck buckler. Oh, no, that's a shield. Damn it, this would have been the perfect, perfect shield for me, too. Guardian spirit built in, plus six, resist electricity. Oh, fleshed out my resistances very nicely. Um, I still have the ability to control bl uh, to control the blink, and I haven't made my target of eight floors yet, so or nine floors yet. So let's let's go let's go another. Uh, what have I lost in terms of? I know I was shedding the resources, but I didn't see which ones I lost. Probably nothing notable, but blah 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 blah. Fear teleport. Teleport. Okay, not so bad. Okay, uh... Anything to loot from these guys? No, they probably picked up all the stuff. And that's why it was so dangerous. Uh, onward. Whip out the velocity... Uh, I don't have a Repel Missiles or a Repel Missiles Analog, which would have been ideal. And I don't have a way of resisting lightning, so... Let's quickly burn the spell books and hope for a little bit of damage. Let's make sure to use one of these guys to chump lock the others. All of these guys deal electricity damage, so it's actually probably going to be worthwhile to switch to the Resist Electricity Amulet. Even at a massive, massive cost of HP. And boom. We're going to Berserk, fight the Electric Golem while he's adjacent, quickly switch to the Air Elemental because he'll die quickly, Titan next, Air Elemental next, Electric Golem because he's adjacent, Floor cleared. Vapors are not very dangerous, they're perma-confused. Ring of Dexterity was hardly worth the risk. Uh, was there a book at all? No, okay. Um... Go ahead and eat that ration. Read. Uh, let, let's let's wield my velocity and see if I can't get it fully enchanted. Nope. Okay. Uh, one more. Resist C Telly on this floor, and oh my god, it's a fucking doozy. The worst part is I forgot to put on my amulet of gain crap tons of health. This could be the floor I die on, to be completely honest. It could quite possibly be this floor that kills me. I'm, I kind of want to wait for them to start moving around a little. Which is stupid. Let's just charge the middle of this. There's the... Berserk. Oh, I'm not inside a poison cloud yet. I'm already red poisoned. It doesn't matter. Kill the Yenoxinal, for Christ's sake. How can you not kill this guy? You're right next to him. I'm gonna die here. That is for sure. Uh, le that's why I'm already chasing down the stairs as fast as I can. Nope. That's death. Ugh. It was stupid. Um, what I could have done is force them to fan out and uh, then try to make a dash for the stairs that way. Uh, I opted instead to try and berserk them down and vastly underestimated their ability to deal damage, but because of the red poison, I dropped really fast. Um, I think the poison probably dealt more than half the damage that took me down in the end. Still, better to go down in a blaze of glory than just passively beat the game. Uh, on the whole, uh, I would have to say that the Spriggan Berserker, I stand by what I said before. It is a build that does not play to the strength of a Spriggan. That said, the Spriggan is so strong that it makes this build work anyway. And if you want to run a Slinger, a slinger Spriggan, 
you could do a lot worse than do running him as a Berserker, because Trog Gifts keep your ammo very well topped off. Uh, and for the early game, at least, kiting is really effective, since you have Sprig and Speed to back uh, back you up on it. Um, and then for the late game, the switch into uh, Amulet of Guardian Spirit gives you so much health to work with that you become tanky. So it actually kind of... kind of, I guess I'm going full circle. It actually does work fairly well. Um, yeah, uh, if you actually want to win the game with it, I recommend against trying to run a, me a melee ziggurat before level 27 with you know, more skill than I have, because I am not very skillful uh, when it comes to such things. I just, like, a pro would look at that board and be like, why the hell did you even go in? Anyway, uh, four kills on Boris. Hooray. And, uh, yeah, it was overall a very satisfying run. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys next time.